survivor. Daily routine. Come and take hydrate. And I usually use the crushed pineapple because that's my favorite. But since I haven't been having much luck on the elk, I might as well take the Rocky Mountain Ricky. We'll try that one. See if that changes my luck at all. But been great. We've been seeing our big ones every day. We just haven't been able to get a shot at them. So.
just not about elk hunting. We have antelope tags, and we have some prime candidates back here. He's a really nice buck. He's, I don't know how many does he's got with them, but pretty good. At, <laughs> we tend to be better at antelope hunting than we are at elk hunting, so hopefully that is the same as it usually is. <laughs> giant ball but it was at least the first shot out of the lift connected plus he hit him high he probably just hit that uh you know, the artery up on top look at that thing you know yeah he was like super narrow but look how heavy he is it's a beautiful buck no matter what <laughs> oh, it's like awesome. i love it it's like you know honestly antelope hunting is like one of my favorite things to do like right away and Granted, we just went to the big bulls right away, but it's like, I know I'm it. glad we kind of came back to this because it's so much fun. Yeah, normally we always come out and do antelope first before, but we just went right to, to elk thinking that, or hoping Gosh, that there'd be some that. big ones. But That's a big Yeah, big look at that thing. Yeah. Look at the big cutters on there. And big mats, you can't even get your fingers around you know, that. That's an awesome buck, actually. Yeah, I mean, really for I was thinking when we were looking at him from way across the other side, I was like, he's real narrow, but he looks like a, a mature buck anyway. But uh, we'll be having antelope steak to uh, tonight probably <laughs> but yeah it's great the first shot with the new lift. matthews lift Gosh, and uh we got our first animal on the ground with it what do you think buddy did you see it mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. look at that look at that big goat huh mm -hmm. look at that cool horns on him isn't the hair neat it comes right out. If you pull it, it comes right out. It's for if a coyote or something grabs them, it, the, the hair comes right out and it just grows right back. here hunting with Tiffany right now it's been pretty slow so looking at our moon guide and tomorrow the 19th is the first day of the red moon so I'm gonna run back over to our spot where I've been hunting for for ladies man and just see if that red moon movement will get him up and moving when we left you know we, we would see him every day but they weren't really talking they weren't really doing much yet but I think now that we're getting to the 19th they ought to be they ought to be cranking so looks like tomorrow evening and like 437. Should be good tomorrow. Hello. 
Where are we at, bud? We're in Montana at the Stenson Ranch. Who's gonna shoot one tonight? Well, I think Dad's gonna shoot good one tonight, but I think Mom will go get one eventually. Yeah. What do you think, Ray Ray? I'm hiding. This year, Lee and I drew different tags for Montana. So it's a little bit of a cluster because his spot is like four hours away from like my spot. But my spot was a little bit dead right now, for myself at least. John and John actually had a good morning. And Lee's got pictures of his big bull over here that he's been hunting since September 1st. So we packed everything up kids and dog and myself and came over this way. I do think he's got a really good chance of shooting that ball. Uh, all right, it's nice to be back here. We got a giant ball here. Hopefully, hopefully he cooperates this trip because he certainly hasn't so far. But I guess they don't want to get shot more than I want to shoot him. So I got to get them a little more serious here. Dude, dude, hey, I'm killing. These are the kind of days that you kill something. We've been here for 10 or 12 days hunting this bull and he just hasn't cooperated. And these are the kind of days you rush in on a last minute whim and you're late and weren't able to shower and do all the things that you wanted to. And you run out there and you, you get on next to a water tank and he walks up to it and you shoot him. In theory, that's what we'd like to do. Yeah, I'll spray. I'd love to spray them. Yeah, right. All right. Let's see. That. And that. And that. Ah. Okay. That's enough. How about you, PG Koo? Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Hopefully we'll have a big uh, bowl. Hi, honey. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Go love get them, buddy. I love you. Good luck, man. All right. Thank you. Good luck. All right. I think I got everything. All right. Well, I don't see them, so that's good that they're not better too much on this side, but you know, they figure they'd, they'd be on the shady side here. If it is east wind going up there, I want to, I'd like to park by these hay bales and get around the corner on them. Um, I just want to make sure it's not strong enough wind that could go all the way up there and it could smell us. Oh, if, there, if an elk is ever going to fire up, if it's ever going to be hot cows, it's going to be from September 20th to the end of September when the temperatures are in the 50s and 60s. We talked to David this morning and he saw my bull out here in this field with the cows and they went up this side. I have a feeling they're up there and we got a water tank up there. We got kind of an east wind so we have to quick get around them and if we maybe get near that water tank or something, you know, past them with the wind go up this way and get them coming in, you know, in front of us with the wind going past. We we'll have to see what the wind's doing up there but uh, it feels good to be back here.
came around this side hill and I just hope they come before we run out of light here. Come on. There's a cow. I see a cow right there. We were just saying that. We didn't hear that. I looked over this hill and I saw him, but I only saw like one cow. And as soon as we get over here again, the sun starts going down. So the thermals are going down. I was like, that's just gonna be just my luck. They're gonna come right around the corner and the thermals are gonna be going down. And I thought they were coming by at 40 and these ones were okay, but one saw us back there. She so started walking out and it was like at 62. I said, now or never, they're gonna start running. And I just freaking hammered him with the new Matthews lift. Yes! Whew. Yes! First day. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. First freaking day. Oh my gosh. Yeah, baby, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just can't believe it. Oh, that worked. <laughs> oh, I gotta see if I can get a picture of that. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. I just cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just can't believe it. That worked that way. You know, we hunted this thing for how many, 10 days or whatever. And, you know, just always had the cows like that with us. And then we come back the first time, the very first day, I looked out. You see, that's why I love this spot right here. I've hunted the same spot like twice because this is the route they always take. We got a big alfalfa field that goes right up to the mountain and then there's a water tank up there. They always come in and out right here. The times I sat here earlier this year, they went to the water tank and never came down here, at least during daylight. And this time it worked like a charm. I was hoping that this is at 50 yards in here, this grass strip, and now the cows on this side will be 45. And of course, last minute he goes out to, on the other side. It was like 62, but it didn't matter. That rage found the cage, baby. Yes! Two shots out of this bow. One had an antelope at 88, smoked him. Now one had a giant bull at 62. 
And he took it, he dumped it right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Look at that thing, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Before I touch him, I just love to have this moment. I just want it to be, just don't want this moment to go away. Oh, look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, big guy. Oh my gosh. That is my biggest bull ever. Holy cow, look at the size of that fours. Threes are nine. 20 inch threes, giant fronts, 24 inches on the, the back end. Look at that slob. Oh my gosh. What a bull. The guy, I tell you, he gave us some fits, but man, you gave me some joy. Thank you for that. Chasing this one every day you know, since I've been here, and it's just what an awesome ball! Golly, oh, thank you, Lord. Well, there's that arrow with the, the brand new Carbon Express photon and with the Rage tripan. It certainly did the job. People talk about you know retractables or whatever, and I was at 62 yards, and you can see he didn't make it 150 yards, but my new bow here when this arrow combination i've taken two shots with it so far an antelope at 88 and smoked it and now an elk at 66 this has been a great combination for me <laughs> look at that hey buddy what do you think i guess you're not gonna need anybody what do you think sheriff huh he's not in there <laughs> yeah oh, he's looking at the yeah <laughs> <laughs> see i knew you were waiting for me i know it we didn't want to shoot one oh, without you here Get your headlamp? Yeah, okay, okay, honey. Get ready okay. to get your hug. You got your headlamp on? Oh, you look got at your that. Gloves. You're She's all ready, ready to, to go, huh? Yeah. This is awesome, and I cannot tell you how happy I am that we ended up, it just panned out this way, that we came over here. It's like, you know, Lee left by himself a couple days ago, and he's like, ah, I'm just going to go. It's just a lot of work to move camp and everything with the kids and dog Boom. and trailer and everything, of course. And so... We're like, you know what, let's just give the other spot a couple day break and said, you know what, maybe it's just going to work out that way. And okay, it's over there. Okay, let's see if we can find any blood, guys. Keep walking. Yeah, keep walking. Well, you know where the knock is over there, right? Yep. Got your light rigs. They don't mess around when they're ready, do they? No lingering. Okay, Rag, see if you can find him. Let's see if you can find that ball. I see it. That is a giant, you guys. Look at that. Look at how big that bull is. Isn't that awesome? Heck yeah. Yeah, look at that thing, huh? Yeah. Look at what how big think? that is. What do you think of that? Good. Good? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, Lee. Uh, what? A, look at how his whale tail is like that. Yeah, oh, that way. I thought gloves. I always knew one because the one side went down. Went... She's got her gloves. What does an elk sound like, Briggs? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Oh my think. gosh, watch your head, little Reggie. What do you think, Cameron? I think I'm pretty very cool, excited. huh? Give Daddy a high five and hugs oh. and kisses. Give me five, Briggs. What do you think? <laughs> hey, Cameron. <laughs> Thanks for waiting for me. Nine, ten, eleven. A 12 point. <laughs> you should say that. You I mean, say a 6 by 6. Yeah, 6 by 6. Mm -hmm. How's that sound? 
You think? Look at that big old Sounds good. pour yeah. on that, huh? Yeah. Try let's lifting cameras. See if you can lift three. them up, you guys. One, two, three. Okay. I'll bring the ranger oh, over. You guys put him in, okay? In you bit. did, yeah, you did. Good job. Yeah, let's see. So barely lift okay, ahead. ready? One, two, three. Oh, probably three or four years ago, uh, my daughter did a video of him uh, at the very same spot that y'all shot him in, just uh, about the same scenario, come down the, down the bottom herded in the cows and uh, just a real good bull. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, guys. God. What an animal. Yeah. If I would have known this thing was this big in person, I would have told Wayne we should stop and get the governor off your truck. And we would have been here an hour <laughs> earlier because this, holy cow. Uh, man, what a ball. And it's just, that's why it was, it was awesome that we met a couple of years ago, just have the same management and everything like you do for elk that I do yep. for, for whitetails. And when you're buying a land out here, like we did, it's so important to, to have somebody like yourself that knows the whole state. In Iowa, you know, we know we got giant deer, but down to Missouri and because their gun season is in, so they maybe not as good a quality there. But then you go to North Dakota and you got big, flocky bodies, but they may top out at 150s. Of course, there's always the outliers everywhere. But Montana in itself is almost like, no. like all those states put together because there's pockets of giant bulls, you know, 400s and stuff. And then there's pockets that have, you know, tons of elk, but they may be like 330s to 350s. Yep, and everywhere in Montana, you can shoot a big bull, but there's areas where these guys, when they get to their mature age, are big. You know, right. I mean, there's certain areas, there's little blocks throughout the state and without covering the state and know it at all, you don't know because one big bull might get shot over here and there everyone's, oh, it's over here. But if you don't know the country and what they look like when they're mature, that might be the only big bull over there. Right. And that's like, like with Wayne, he owns Montana Hunt Company, that the properties that we're hunting now, it's like if you buy a piece of property here. So if you're looking for something like for giant bulls like this, it may be areas that don't have the biggest the most numbers and it might not even be the prettiest terrain all this stuff but hey if you're just looking for just giant bulls you know exactly okay this is the place you need to look these are the ranch you need to look at if you're looking for something that's beautiful but has lots of elk man it be the biggest that's where your expertise comes in hand in handy but the biggest thing is like for even for us we have a uh, the ranch out here but it's like you don't live here and it's hard because you got to have you got it's got to be grazed you got to have cattle you got to have you, know, you want alfalfa fields or if it even can you know, if you can get pivots on them or anything like that but that's where trophy lands comes in where if you get somebody buys the place you guys just take care of it all they got to do is show up well, just so show up and ranches in montana are still managed for cattle and egg which is awesome we still do that but we use them as a tool to make the hunting better you know right. they can work hand in hand because elk elk love to follow cattle they just don't like to be with them it's just perfect all around if you're looking for a place you know, in Montana to buy for, for elk or your enjoyment for anything. Yeah. I mean, these are, you guys are the guys to talk to because I've seen all the other realtors around. Everybody comes to Wayne to ask them on, <laughs> on you know, what do you think about this area? What do you think about that ranch? Because you grew up here, you've been on every one of them and just owning the Montana Hunt Company hunting with all over the hunting state. all over the state. And you got, you know, people all over, you know, what kind of bulls that you can expect out of places. You know, it's incredible how the giant bulls Montana has. You know, special and place. you're right. Yeah, it is definitely a special place. This is kind of a beautiful spot to grow a new one, don't you think? Yeah, we're gonna grow a new big bull elk. Cause see, we took one out, then we you take a piece of meat, and you dig a hole and you plant it. You say a good prayer for them, that they live a happy life in the afterlife. We give them good food, and this we we plant it and we grow another elk for us to hunt next year. Okay, here we go. Maybe even it's one for you to hunt or Reggie to hunt. Good 10 years to grow. So yeah, you'll be 18 by then. Just like, yeah, so there we go. We plant that. Put your sage by it, right? Mm-hmm. Always gonna see a little Yep. We give them, they got just a good spot with good grass right here. Dear Heavenly Father, um, thank you so much for, for this beautiful animal. We pray and hope that um, you take care of
of him and all of us and in our afterlife and maybe grandma and grandpa have a good a good elk hunt right now. Amen. Amen. Uh, hey, we thank you for yeah. this.